there's not a, a lager, lager that you really don't like. That's important. It's almost as important as knowing what you like with a drink is having a, a low point. Like I'd hate, I never want to drink that again. By having that, you know what you're comparing to, isn't it? So yeah. if you haven't got one of those with, with beers, that's fine. So that's going to make it a bit trickier to sort of compare what you're drinking every time. Yeah. So um, I wouldn't worry about it. But we, mate, there's time. Don't you worry about that. We'll, we'll take you under your wing. Next, when you, crap was Inferno. We'll, yeah, so. we'll, <laughs> we'll go through Harry. the entire... Yeah. <laughs> what's it, what's this boiler thing? Well, the boiler room... Sh- what's it? Boiler room thing. What's it What's it called, Adam? Remind a boiler us. maker. That's it, a boiler maker. Get a couple of them down us. We'll be all right. Clap yeah. Oh, yeah, that was talking about, mate. Clap that clap it's not clap <laughs> It's Inferno's. We've had a nightmare. Second beer. That's all right, guys. <laughs> all right. Good. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> mate. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, I love yeah. it. So I'm guessing, I'm kind of guessing that piston head, and I think from my vague memory of when I've had a piston head, uh, is that it's along the lines of these. It's like a fancy lager, isn't it? It's like your Camden mm. Camden lager, yeah, right. or um, you know Brooklyn lager. Those those sort of things. It's like a lager that on on a steroids a bit, isn't it? It's like it's, a bit more yeah. a bit more refined. A few more flavors in there, but essentially it's that it's the same ballpark. I feel like yeah. I said that, and you've just, you know, you, you, I'm in awe of, of how you've just described it and, and dug me out of this massive hole. <laughs> no, no, not at all, mate. It's great. It's, it's, it's yeah, exactly like what you said, yeah. Yeah, there's like some blokes like else, some blokes like lagers, some blokes like me like everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this uh, this takes all sorts for sure. That's awesome. Shall we, uh, shall we go for comedy number two? Yeah. Number two. Yes, yes. Take it away, Ollie. What have so, you got in the two slot? So, yeah, given that number one's been thrown a bit, I, I, I had a couple of backups, um, which was good. So number two, and we've, you might think it probably would be number one, given the kind of maybe the quotage that has gone on um, regarding it. But it's the office um, and the UK office, you know, the original, the OG, yeah. the Brentmeister general, absolutely yeah, man. Giving, it, giving it to the man. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just it's just quality, <laughs> absolute quality. But I feel that is something that yes, it's a it's a, a gentle little, <laughs> and in some cases a bit more of a laugh if you watch it on your own. But when you get yeah. in the game together, you know you can just all enjoy it together and just yeah, revel in it. Um, but some of the lines in there are just audacious, like it's phenomenal. I love it. Um, what's your thoughts or your experiences of it? Have you have you seen it? Do you do you like it? Have you seen the American one? Like what's the vibe? Of course, mate. I think you're totally right. It 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 completely elevates. <laughs> I think probably eighty percent of blokes out there have had like funny interactions with their mates, just <laughs> saying lines yeah. in different situations. Um, and it's just it, the lines from that show are just some of the best out there, and they are hilarious. <laughs> and Gervais is just an absolute genius. In any, most of the shows he does, to be honest, have yeah, those. He's very careful. Those lines that you can you can just say on a night out, and everyone's got like two or three of them in the in their back pocket, and so that it's just it's, <laughs> it's so quick sometimes. <laughs> like earlier, like when I mentioned you, whether you like to lager, instantaneously we both said the the, the the quote from The Office, right? So yeah, it, it's more than a show; it's a like a, a, a handbook <laughs> of being funny for blokes yeah. <laughs> it's like say these two lines in this order and you'll be you'll, everyone will laugh you know yeah, yeah Mate, it's, it brings blokes together as well like the amount of times mm. like i've just met someone i mean literally tonight like we've done the same <laughs> thing haven't we like yeah. and we've yeah. said we've said office quotes and it's yeah just immediately you know you're on the same level you know that bloke if that bloke finds this funny i like him Do you yeah know what i mean like it's a litmus test a bit isn't it yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. the office for sure for sure, 100%. yeah. I, yeah choice, I mean, mate. I've never, I've never seen the American one. Uh, I tried started to watch it recently, a couple of weeks ago, um, and obviously, lots of people say skip the first series because it's just a crap copy of the English one, right? So, mm. lots of people say get to the bit where they do new stuff, and apparently that's better. But I've not got there yet, so at the moment, I still think it's just crap compared to yeah. the British one. Yeah, but I'll, I'll put some time in and I'll, I'll get to the new stuff, but. I, I say don't ever watch it and just keep that uh, okay. opinion and never change. Great. And just hold it hold it Sold. viciously against anyone else. And just vote, otherwise. vote for that forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going to oh, do. Oh, Lord. Sold. Good man, good man. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to steal yours this time, Ollie. I'm going to pick my own one here. And I, I'm trying not to be too nostalgic because I feel like in a lot of these top threes, top fives, whatever, my childhood slash teenage 
nostalgia is hitting me too much and i'm sort of going for stuff that i haven't seen for a while or whatever um but this one is quite nostalgic but the other one won't be so this one is uh you're waking up you're getting ready for school frazier no nah, close I, I woke up a little bit late for that one <laughs> Like the Tell Frasier. Frasier. <laughs> um, anyway, that, <laughs> Frasier is amazing. But um, no, so this is a bit later or earlier. I can't remember the timings, but you're Raymond? waking up early. Raymond, yeah. You got it, yeah. Raymond. Yeah. Everybody yeah. loves yeah. Raymond. Nice. What a show. And like, and I can't I can't say I've seen every single one of these, but I've seen a lot of them. And more, and I'd see the same one more than once sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just because it was taking a while. What a show. Like, it's got the perfect family. You've got the like, like uh the sort of quite cool main character raymond who's got this cool job but he's like a classic bloke you got his wife (laughs) that he always disappoints and screws up and you've got his brother that's like this bumbling idiot sometimes and like mama's boy and then you've got the mum and dad who are across the road who are always just putting their nose and the the granddad who just doesn't give a crap about anything man (laughs) what a vibe i loved it yeah um really really good show just solid I will laugh at least three times in an episode at something. And uh, I, I kind of want to be Raymond, you know? I want to be that guy. It's just like, even though I've got a full family of, like, responsibilities, I'm still doing everything I can to just watch the baseball or, yeah. you know, just <laughs> <laughs> sneak away from my family at uh, any moment. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a good, it's a classic one. Fantastic. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Nice. I mean, yeah, everybody, everybody had that same morning routine, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> they caught, if they were up, a bit too early, they might have seen King of Queens. <laughs> and oh, yeah. then they saw Raymond. That was prime time. And uh, Raymond's if, prime time, okay. And then if you were and then if you were a bit late, you might have caught the start of Frasier right? yeah. before you went to school, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's everybody's morning. For, yeah. You can immediately tell how old we are from, from that. <laughs> well, I was, I was, I was still watching Arthur, session. I think, at that time. <laughs> Arthur, oh yeah. god. What All a right. show. But yeah, no, yeah, I, must, yeah, I must admit, I haven't seen it, um, much of that show. I, I know what you're talking about, but in terms of, yeah, the, the characters and the premise of it, yeah, I don't really know much about it, but um, maybe it's worth getting, get, seeing if I can... Is it? Do they still play it? Is it? Is it available? I don't know, mate. I haven't had a TV license <laughs> for 10 years. <laughs> I think they, I think they do. Yeah, my, like my folks. Whenever I'm at my parents, they're like they watch that that whole section of Channel Four religiously right. every day, okay. um, just while they're eating breakfast, sort of thing. And um, yeah, in fact, this leads on nicely to my number two. Actually, can I go? Go for it. Yeah, go for Please it. Go. My number two is along similar sort of lines, but I feel like it was the perhaps not the original, but it kind of set the the proper stage for what we call a sitcom nowadays, like the same uh, the same room that everything takes place in, right? Mm-hmm. It's very American. It's got a great theme tune, great characters, loads of booze in. And if you watch it now, it'd probably have to come with a warning. And I don't care because it's one of the most fantastic blokey sitcoms ever. It's brilliant. It's Cheers. Yeah. Yay. Great shout. Yeah. I don't know whether <laughs> it sounds like you guys have seen this. It's it's just the most American thing in the world. I just love it. You know, Sam Malone runs this bar. He's a good looking guy, ex ball player. Um, there's just incredible comedy characters. You know, Norman Cliff in the bar. You know, oh, just some amazing set pieces. And it's just like super heartwarming. The theme tune, it's like the perfect length. Everything about it, I just think, is that classic what Americans have done right for sitcoms. It's like, it's distilled in Cheers, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So that's that's my number two. If you're not seeing Cheers, give it a go. Yeah, man, for sure. I think, mm. well, it, it spawned other sitcoms as well, like Frasier. Yeah. Um, was oh. is it, was Beck spawned from that? Or is that just the same actor in a different, completely different role? Uh, Becca is a Becca, different, sorry. is a uh, same actor, different role. Yeah, okay, not, cool. not, not a spinoff. But there was one, in fact, with Carla, you know the Italian, the grumpy Italian barmaid with the curly hair, right? Yeah, who yeah, had yeah. loads of kids. <laughs> yeah, her, she apparently there was one called the Tortellis, which is her family name, which right. was meant to be like a chaotic Italian New York family spin-off, but that bombed apparently. Right, I've right. never seen it, but so obviously Frasier was a massive hit, you know. Yeah. So it did. Frasier spawn, is very good. Yeah, it did spawn a big hit. Great choice, oh, nice. mate. Yeah, fantastic. What about you, Ollie? So in terms of, I must admit, yeah, I haven't seen it, but um, I 
yeah, I, I guess it's something to give a go. I guess I'm not so much a, a fan of certain American stuff, um, but yeah, I, I'll have to give that give that a little view um, and add it to this. Yeah, list. mate. If yeah. you see it, if you see it on TV, like don't don't flick off. Give it a, yeah. give it a bit of time. It's, it's, it's based, one of those based very in Boston, sort of like, isn't it? Say again. Sorry. Was it? Sorry. Based in Boston. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I think that's also a very good uh, thing to have in a sitcom. It's very specific to a certain place, or it's like right. everybody knows where it is. Yeah, like mm-hmm. Friends is New York, yeah. Cheers is Boston, you know, Office is Slough. Like yeah. everybody <laughs> knows where where that is. You know, yeah, Only Fools and Horses sure. is in Peckham. Peckham, and yeah. it's like those sort of things. I think it's very important to have that. It just like really sort of grounds it somehow. I mean. You know, maybe a, a comedy writer, screenwriter will be able to tell me what the the word is for that. But, you know, when you make something very specific to a certain place, it just seems to work for a sitcom, you know? 100%. Yeah, that's what yeah. I think. Yeah, nice. All yeah. right, mate, we're on, the, we're on the final round. Ollie. Right. Here we go. Top sitcom comedy show of all time. Considering it's, you know, I did say Only Force and Horses is my, uh, like, is, is my number one. However... Um, I, I do feel this is just maybe something you might not have thought of and you're probably thinking you know what's he going for here but it is so relatable I feel specifically to oh. like <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> myself and Greg's like group of, of friends from sort of home um, <laughs> and, I know what you're going to say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Every, everybody yeah. knows what he's yeah. about to say yeah. <laughs> And um, it's it's literally, you know, some of the stuff that goes on is so... it's uh, You couldn't write it, obviously they have, but it's so relatable that, you know, I feel like I've been through some of those experiences or at least someone I know has been through these experiences. And arguably, Adam, uh, uh, to sort of touch on your point earlier about the, uh, going on a holiday or going abroad has sort of ruined it a little bit. Uh, maybe they've, they're a bit of a curveball in this because uh, sort of for what they did with the movie, but it is the in-betweeners. Yes, yeah, man. Um, yeah, it is, mm. it's just that is laugh a second. Um, and yeah, so just comical, just completely. The characters are perfect. <laughs> the actors are perfect. And we all know somebody that at some point has been an element of what one of the characters, if it's not if they're not them in their entirety. And yeah, given like mm. uh, and the schooling era, I feel like we're in an era where. Well, it was it was our schooling era. I feel like it's yeah. not no any other school mm. era. And it just is, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. You know, it's so, so relatable. And I think that's why it's been such a massive hit. Um, and they didn't, I don't feel they did it a, a disservice necessarily by putting it into a film. But the episodes, I do feel, are a lot stronger um, and fantastic. But yeah, that would be, yeah. I guess, the number one then, the in-betweeners. 100%, mate. 100%. Yeah, great shout. I mean, again, talk about things that blokes talk about when they're... <laughs> When they're out on a night out, just, just, <laughs> oh man, just, it, yeah, it's just it permeated our culture. Of, uh, but I feel like it just hit one generation yeah. of people. If you're yeah. too old us. or too young, it just it passed you by. It, us, our generation, Literally perfectly, us. just yeah. encapsulated it, and we, we just love it. And then anyone else outside of the cool crew <laughs> just won't get it, and they and they never will because they didn't go through this stuff that they're talking about, you know. And it's, um, yeah. Fantastic. What a timed capsule of a show. Lads, I couldn't agree more. It's so hilarious. And I'd actually, until you just mentioned it there, I hadn't thought about that, you know, in the lead up Mm. to this podcast. It hadn't cropped, it hadn't cropped up in my mind. I'm so glad you mentioned it because it's amazing. And I think you're right. It does kind of, uh, it is the uh, exemption to the rule. Um, It's not the right phrase, is it? But you know what I'm saying. Bucks the trend, is it? Is it that one? Yeah, exactly. You know, when compared to what i said about when they take characters abroad like mr bean or whatever it it definitely does because that is specifically one of the things that lads like us do (laughs) we go to we go to alicante or marbella or benedorm or wherever we go you know (laughs) like everyone's been on one of those holidays so that's not just Uh, like oh we've run out of ideas that's the mm. idea because that's what we bloody do and we make a tit of ourselves in alicante you know Oh, God, flashbacks. But, yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. That's really great. <laughs> great choice, Good. mate. Great choice. I like it. Okay, cool. So um, my final one. So I probably would have put Friends first because I think that's the OG. I've seen every single episode. I can guarantee you I have. 
I've watched it chronologically as well, not just piecemeal. So I would probably have put Friends first, but this this one is what one of the shows I've I've enjoyed the most, and I I don't think you guys. 